be a lovely time. Let us draw it in the middle here. Daryl, you gotta stop being so boisterous. I mean, it's really, you, you get obnoxious after a while. Are you naturally quiet? What? <laughs> I saw these people in, in, a, in a concert once, and I, well, I don't want to tell you about it ahead of time. You'll see the show, and you'll make it. It's a great relationship to have. Have you known each other a long time? About five years. Why'd you pick another Sadaka song to release? It was picked a long time ago. I, uh, I really don't know. He's got a magical thing about the way he writes. It's just, he flows like Elton John to me, you know? I am curious. You obviously enjoy one another and like one another an awful lot, and it's more than that, obviously. When it comes to music, do you ever argue about it? Not really. We pretty much agree in album selections, for example, in tunes we're going to perform live. I mean, we both know when things work and when they don't. All right, let's get down to it. You're making a new album now. You've been working on it 24 hours a day for the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, does it have a title? It's going to be called Song of Joy. All right. I like that. I, I like that. that. Did you discipline yourself not to put all your own things into it? Um. We, we, we ran out of tunes. <laughs> <laughs> You're a very honest man, Daryl, yes. We only had four tunes, really. Oh, come on. And then I have to still write one, so we're not really finished with the album. Is he serious? Yes, he's serious. He, on the last album, he had an instrumental called Brody Bounce that he yeah. wrote about our dog that was rather strange, and he's going to put another strange instrumental on this one. Is that the dog that's on the cover of the album I just showed? Sure. We don't have a cover of the new album. That, by the way, that performance of that song is the debut of the single on television, and you did that for me once before you Listen, came here. I did it for you twice before, because when we came on to do Love Will Keep Us Together in its very first national television exposure at the same time we did the way I want to touch you that's the one I went crazy for. <laughs> yeah okay. you brought me a goodie we better do that here now why uh, uh, what are these anyway first of all uh, these aren't these aren't the real ones I have to confess yours are coming you brought me fakes I brought you phonies I mean they're real they're our real ones but they're no. not yours we want you to have a platinum love will keep us together oh, bless because your heart. certainly Dick Clark was instrumental in bringing this about. Oh, oh, oh. Lovely, lovely. Thank you. And this is? I want you to have a gold the way I want to touch you. You're going to build me a new wall <laughs> to put all of this on? Because oh. certainly Dick Clark was instrumental in bringing that about. Yeah, that's nice. And Thank you. And we feel that since you did so much for us with those two, that you should have a platinum album. Unfortunately, we only have the gold ones. The platinums aren't here yet. Can I make this into a bed tray, yes. maybe? I'm gonna run out of wall I've space. I've breakfast on it every morning. Um, but uh, this is your platinum when it's gold, folks, but it really is, should be platinum. Would you do me one last favor? Would you sing it again for me? Oh, if I get out of the way, you, you take your spot over there, and Daryl, you get around all of your paraphernalia, the monster array, you call. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Captain Antonio.